This week in 1876, Thomas Edison of Menlo Park, New Jersey patented the mimeograph machine. He described it as a method for preparing autographic stencils for printing. We don't use mimeographs much these days thanks to paper copiers and computers. The mimeograph worked by first creating a master which was placed on a large rotating drum. A purple ink would then print out on paper. Just one year later, in 1877, Edison finished figuring out his first phonograph. He handed the model of his invention to John Crusey with instructions on how to build it. Crusey bet the inventor $2 and said that there was no way the machine would ever work. He lost the bet. In 1896 this week, Harvey Hubble of Bridgeport, Connecticut received a patent for the pull chain electric light socket. Pull the chain and the light goes on. Pull it again and the light goes off. In 1910 this week, Alva Fisher of Chicago, Illinois received a patent for an invention that moms, grandmas, and single guys certainly have come to appreciate, the electric washing machine. Previous to Fisher's invention, washing machines were cranked by hand or you'd have to use a washboard. In 1981 this week, IBM introduced the personal computer with their 5150 model. The IBM PC ran on the Intel 8088 microprocessor at 4.77 MHz. It had 16 kilobytes of memory, no built-in clock or video capability. It was available, however, with an optional color monitor. Prices started at around $1,500. The IBM PC was a smashing success, and IBM quickly became the number one microcomputer company, dropping Apple to number two. That was 35 years ago. A lot has changed. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. 6,000 media representatives, 2,600 from abroad. It's IFA time. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Be sure to check out our website anytime at intotomorrow.com and subscribe to our free podcasts while you're there. We'll catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.